Queremos libertad para nuestra familia. Nebraskans showed up Saturday in support of their families in Cuba, a protest in Norfolk against the Cuban government. Free Cuba! Free Cuba! You're looking at a woman crying out for help for her family. Yuseline Ramirez organized a protest against human rights abuses in Cuba within a week with the help from Elias Noah. This all started uh, once Cuba actually went in the street. They lost their fear. They started protesting. Unfortunately, they can't do that. They don't have the rights. So they get killed or put in jail. So what we do is show support from the U.S. where we have the freedom of speech. He wants to see the U.S. step up to the plate by sending either supplies or defense. Russian in, uh, military has intervened in Cuba. Venezuelan military has intervened. And the only thing they're doing is killing and lying. We don't really need military, but we do need help with, with food, medicine, any small thing. Others asked for more direct military action from the U.S. Necesitamos el apoyo de, del gobierno de los Estados Unidos para que haya una intervención militar. Regardless of methods, families say they ultimately want their loved ones to be safe at last. Because my parents are Cuban and I'm American, and I wanted to help people in Cuba to be safe. Many of the protesters in Norfolk have families in Cuba who they can't even talk to right now because Cuba limits the internet. Uh, it makes me feel really mad, to be honest. Uh, mad with the government, like this government and their government. Matthew has a grandparent and cousins in Cuba facing struggles with food access and aggressive governing. Many echoed the hope that the demonstration this weekend, exercising American rights, would help Cubans one day also have similar freedoms. I, I'm hoping for a spotlight on uh, what's going on there with the incarcerations. You know, they just want to live a, a, a life with the basic necessities like we have here in America. Y que sigan luchando por lo que quiere. In Norfolk, Carolyn Conti, News Channel, Nebraska.